It's time for a left hook, right jab, and it's a bittersweet segment tonight. After bringing you this segment for more than a year, every week here on KGW, we are hanging up the gloves, at least for now, because Steve Novick is leaving us. It is his last segment. He is the left hook and left hook, right jab. He's taken a new job with the Oregon Department of Justice and can no longer continue with us. Steve, we are really going to miss you and we'll, we'll talk about that at the end of this segment. But we wanted to give you an opportunity in this last segment to talk about yourselves. So here is your question. It's what have you learned about each other from doing this segment? And we'll start with Lars. All right, Laurel, here's the thing. When we did the ice bucket challenge, Challenge, Steve and I, I figured two complete polar opposites, each agreeing to be doused with a bucket of ice water to raise a bunch of money for a good cause. I never imagined that we'd end up on television. But the fact is, I like debating Steve. And in fact, I have to say this, that after eight years under a Harvard lawyer, I never thought I could stand working with another Harvard lawyer. But despite our tragic experience of those eight years under Obama, Steve. I like working with a Harvard lawyer. He's a smart guy. He may not be right about a lot of things. And we'll say this as well. They held off on doing the poll tonight, as we just discussed during the break. If you'd held the poll tonight, which one of us would you like to leave? I know I would have won that one, <laughs> but I didn't. Steve, you would have won. Uh, I enjoy working with you, even though I think you're wrong about a lot of things. I've enjoyed it a lot too, Lars. And I like to think that in an era where, of total incivility in politics, you and I have set an example of two people who violently disagree on almost everything, but don't have to be violent with each other. This has been a lot of fun. And what if I, I just want to say some things I've actually learned about you. One is you won't always defend Donald Trump on every issue. Um, you said that you agree that some of the women who accused him of assaulting them were telling the truth. You will defend. You will defend corporate America on almost every issue where corporations are against workers and consumers. And I also learned that you are a true believer beyond what I would have thought. Because even off camera, you'll say things like, "Well, it's not at all clear that Barack Obama is an American citizen." <laughs> so a lot, of, a lot of people have said to me, yeah, see, a lot of people have said to me over the years, do you really think that Lars believes the stuff that he says? And now I tell them, hey, based on what he says off camera, I think that he bizarrely believes every word. Do you know, I have to tell you, Steve, one of my most fervent beliefs is that naysayers should be allowed. That's what I do on my radio show. And Steve, I think this is a good example. I'm willing to put my ideas and my arguments up against yours. You're the ultimate naysayer because you disagree with virtually everything I say, but you're smart enough to come up with some good arguments and not just go back to either shouting or bumper stickers. I'll give you that. So I think you're the perfect naysayer and I'm glad to have shared the stage with you for a while. Me too. And one other thing I've learned is when you say things that are totally ridiculous, there usually is some nugget of fact behind it. Like you're convinced that undocumented immigrants commit a huge percentage of crimes. Your evidence for that is that undocumented immigrants do represent a fair percentage of the federal prison system. Now the federal prison system is small and totally unrepresentative. So, and actually undocumented immigrants are not particularly criminal, um, but at least there's some fact you learn somewhere that's supporting what you said. Steve, I gotta tell you something. I got five seconds, so I'm gonna wish you luck. With 1,200 employees, I know Ellen Rosenblum <laughs> needs another lawyer. So good luck to you. Thank you very much, Lars. And I know that you're now 15th in the talk show ratings. Here's to 14th next year. Thank you very much. And Steve, did you have a final thought you want to share with our viewers as you prepare to leave? I just wanted to say again how much I've enjoyed this. And I can't resist making a couple of the points that I make all the time one more time. <laughs> one is that most of your tax dollars go to things that you like, like <laughs> education and Social Security. Another thing is that unions are good. And a third thing is that global climate disruption is real, it's threatening, it's the worst crisis humanity or a lot of other species have ever faced, and we gotta do something about it. And Steve got the final word tonight. <laughs> Thank you, good luck to you, Lars. We'll see you around because we are looking for a replacement for Steve. So if you have a suggestion, send us your suggestion through our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, or email us at newstips at kgw.com. Thanks again, Thanks. gentlemen. Thanks it's been so much, really Laura. great fun. Back to you, Chris. All right, Laurel, thank you. Even on the last one, still a left hook. <laughs> <laughs> right, <Jeff. laughs>